Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for coming. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So today's video, I'm going to do the viral clip over method that everybody's been doing. But I'm not going to do the one that you sew in on, you glue in, or like the quick weave. I'm doing something totally different. So as you can see right here, I'm parting out my hair, my leave out first. I'm going to go from one ear to the other. Yeah, I'm focusing so hard trying to get this part because I can't see for real. I'm blind. Now that I got my leave out parted, I'm going to take this gel that I used and put on my leave out so I can flat twist it down. I also put water too. Now I start flat twisting my hair down. This is a way to get your hair to blend in with the curly hair that you have. Um, also, you can do another way. I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video. It's a better way I, I figured out to do this instead of flat twisting your gesture hair. But you'll see at the end of the video. So now I'm going to do something that I hate doing, braiding. I cannot braid to save my life. Look at them parts. Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at my parts. As long as I got the braids up there, it's all that matter, okay? So this wig is on my website. The link is in the description. This is a 30-inch water wave. So what you're going to need for this install is some bobby pins and a wig. That's it basically make sure your wig is clamped in all the little clamp things inside your wig make sure it's under your braids if you got tightening like I just did tighten it you're gonna put this wig behind them two twists you're gonna push it forward as much as you can then you're gonna take the bobby pins and put them slant ways under your braids how that bobby pin slants it, you're gonna do it like that. Then you take if you don't want your lace showing, you can put your lace under like that and then slant the bobby pin. You're gonna slant your bobby pins all the way across. Make sure your bobby pins under your braids, okay? So you don't want your wig sliding, okay. Alright, so after that, you're going to do the snatch test. If you don't pass the snatch test, that means you need to put some more bobby pins in them. I wanted my wig more closer to my twist out, so I just added one more bobby pin right there in the front. So, my lace was showing a little bit too much, so I took this temporary hair dye and spray it across the lace. 
So that's how I look afterwards. So I'm scared me right then. That's why I was looking like that. Now I'm going to take my hair and the wig hair and flat twist it together. This is what I was talking about earlier. This is a better way to get your hair and the wig hair to blend. I took gel and I took water and I put it on my hair and the wig hair. Mix it together and start flat twisting it. Then I took the liquid mousse to make sure it's set. Then I tied it down and went to sleep. All right, so this was the next day. I forgot to add this into the video, but I also twisted my wig hair with water and gel. So the curls will be neater. And the curls was curling. Like I said, go shop this wig in my description. Link is in my description at Zarya Extensions dot my Shopify. And when you start this twist out, make sure you have some type of oil in your hand so your twist won't get frizzy. And when I tell y'all I did not expect my real hair to match this wig that good. But wait. I'm going to get rid of that hair color right there. I know y'all talking about the hair color. I'm going to get rid of it in a minute. Just give me a minute. So we're going to take this temporary hair dye from L'Oreal. And dye it black. See how easy that was just to switch my hair from that bleach color to black and now it's the moment of truth did it really work and yes it did So right here, all I'm doing is adding water to the top of my head. Now I'm going to leave out the top where the wig part is at because it didn't have no water up there. It came out so good to me. Let me know what y'all think. And this man seen me filming and he's still going to jump in the video. Excuse you, sir. But that's it. Thank you for watching.